Hey guys, welcome to the last episode in my Let's Make a Minigame series for the Team vs. Team event. Today we're going to go over ending the minigame and rewarding the winners. It's going to be really easy, so it's probably going to be a short episode. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. In the last episode, we went over the scoring system and actually adding points to a team. But right now, there's no way to actually know how many points a team has and actually ending the minigame if a team reaches a certain amount of points. So in order to do that, we are quickly going to go to the top of the file and we are going to add a option that's going to be called max points. This is going to be the maximum amount of points a team needs to have in order to win the minigame. And for testing purposes, I'm just going to put this on like three. So down here we have these add point effects and we need an event that listens to those. So we're going to do on team score points easy as that then we need to know if the events game which is going to be the game that triggered this on team score point event is the game team versus team because we only want it to trigger for this particular game mode then we need to get the amount of points of the uh, team that scored this particular point we can do that by doing raw points so if raw points of the event team is equal to our option max points just like that and if it is we are going to end the mini game so let's add a comment that says end the game and all we have to do is just like in the stop command we made right over here we need to stop the game and then delete it as well so stop game team versus team and then delete the game team versus team but before we do this we should probably reward the winners because if i have ended and deleted the game there's no way to actually know what the team of a player was so we're going to go in front of this before the end game we are going to do our little broadcast first which is going to say event team has one team versus team probably in like something uh gold and then like a cool aqua color which is b then we are going to get all the players in the current world so that's loop all players in the world and then we had our variable which we created in the first episode team versus team world okay perfect and then if the team of the loop player is equal to the event team which means he is in the winning team we are going to reward him like with some um we can do some diamonds maybe so give five diamonds to loop player and there you go and we could also do a little else here for the losers you know maybe give them five cookies or like a, a different price you might want to reward them as well and just to make sure we are actually able to get the team of the loop player before we are actually ending the game we could do a little wait here just in case just one tick that should be enough whoops this shouldn't be a dollar sign Otherwise, it's not working. So just put it in like this. That's going to work fine. Let's reload this script. There you go. And let's set everything up so we know, we remember how everything works. So I'm going to set the red spawn. Well, first, we have to create the event, of course. So I'm going to set the red spawn. So set spawn red right here in the camp. Perfect. Going to set the blue spawn right here in the castle. And then set the lobby on this little bridge right here should probably be in another world on your server but this will work fine for now so set lobby okay then i am going to join team oh tvt join team blue and the w character can join team red oh perfect and then i'm going to do slash tvt start I'm being teleported to the blue spawn in the castle and he is standing in the camp which we just set so I'm going to do some spawn killing now, which of course you don't want happening on your actual server. The spawn should probably be protected from the ground so you can't reach it from uh, standing on the ground. But this is fine for testing purposes. So there you go. Team blue points is one. Team blue points is two. And if I kill him one more time now, I should be teleported. Uh, we should both be teleported to the lobby. I should receive five diamonds and there should be a broadcast in the chat. So let's see if that works. And there you go. Blue has won team versus team. Team blue points is now three. And I have, as you can see, five diamonds in my inventory. So guys, it's all working. It's really bare bones, as I said. But it works. It's a simple team versus team mini game. 
I hope you guys like this. Of course, everything is in the description down below. You can look at the script again. If you have any questions, please do so in the comments or on my Discord server. I'll be more than happy to help you out. I hope you like this series and I will see you guys in the next one.